Where you aim is where you'll shoot. Disregarding drop over longer distances, bullets will go where you have your sights in Battlefield 5, with no random bullet deviation to worry about. That is a tweet from the official Battlefield Twitter, and it takes you to a link describing the changes to gunplay coming in the next Battlefield. This tweet has caused a bit of confusion as to how weapon balance will actually work in Battlefield 5, and a lot of this spreads from the misinformation about what spread is, how it works, and what the hell random bullet deviation means. Before we get into the nitty gritty stuff, I feel the need to point something out. Bullet drop is not going away in Battlefield 5. I don't know where this issue came up, if it was a translation issue or people just misreading the tweet. But the tweet clearly says, disregarding drop over longer distances, bullets will still go where you have your sights. This simply means that bullet drop will still be a thing and it's the only thing affecting your bullet's trajectory. Not that it's being removed. All right, with that PSA out of the way, let's get into the actual content of spread versus random bullet deviation. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna make some definitions and illustrations to help make some of this content a little bit easier to digest. So for example, when your bullets are being fired out of your gun, instead of moving in a straight line, they actually come out in a sort of cone pattern like this. Various things that you do will change the size of your cone, and I've really exaggerated the width of the cone to make things a little bit easier to understand. Standing gives you a standard width, moving makes a cone wider, and crouching makes it smaller. But where your bullets travel will always be inside this cone, and from your perspective, this cone actually just forms a circle. So, let's call this our spread circle. Once again, moving makes a circle bigger, standing still, or crouching makes it smaller. So now, we know that our bullets will land somewhere within this circle. How does this affect weapons now in Battlefield 1? Well, every time you fire your weapon currently, you increase the radius of this circle slightly from the weapon's SIPS, or spread increase per shot. This means that the longer you fire your weapon continuously, the bigger the circle gets, with the exception of LMGs. LMGs actually have a negative spread increase per shot, meaning that the longer you fire your weapon, the smaller the circle gets. Once you finish firing, your circle radius will decrease until it gets back to its base spread. Alright, so we have a circle that shows where all of our bullets will land. Cool. But where exactly does each bullet go, and how does the game decide this? To answer this, we have to do a little bit of math. Specifically, these two equations here. Don't worry, I'm not assigning homework. I'm going to do all the work here, so just hang in there. Okay. So RAND1 and RAND2 are numbers between 0 and 1 for random 1, and 0 and 2 pi, or 360 degrees, for random 2. These numbers are generated every time you shoot your weapon. Random 1 dictates the distance between your shot and the center of the circle, and random 2 is the direction. Okay, so the game actually takes that first random number, and then raises it to a power. This power, called A, is related to how the bullets are dispersed within the spread circle. And in Battlefield 1, A is equal to 0.5. There's a whole lot of information about how different powers this affect the dispersion within a circle, but all you need to know that is in Battlefield 1, with the 0.5 A value, your shots are more likely to end up in the outer half of the circle than in the middle. Okay, so now the game takes that and multiplies it by your weapon's current spread, and then either the cosine or the sine of random two. The cosine is for the horizontal dispersion, and the sine is for vertical dispersion. All right, hopefully an example will help clarify all this. Let's say that you are using the absolute best gun in the game, the Annihilator Trench. The Annihilator has a base hit fire spread of 0.67, and a spread increase per shot of 0.045. Let's say that you start shooting and you fire your 10th round in your burst. Okay, so starting out with the 0.67, let's add 0.045 times 10 to get a spread value at that instant of 1.12. This is less than the maximum spread, so this is the value we're gonna use. Great, so now let's generate our random numbers. So the first one is a random number between zero and one. Great, we got 0.6. Now for the second, between zero and two pi. Awesome, we got 0.9 pi. Okay, so now we can plug everything in and we find that our shot landed 0.825 degrees left and 0.268 degrees above your crosshair. The difference between where your sights are 
and where the bullets actually go is what is commonly referred to as random bullet deviation. But random bullet deviation is not an inherent mechanic, but rather it's a result of the spread. Spread is the value inside the game, RBD is what happens when you add this equation to the spread. This distinction, while small, is an important one to make if you want to understand the inner workings of Battlefield. Another thing to remember is that spread is not the only thing affecting your shot placement. The center of your spread circle is always centered on your crosshairs, but vertical and horizontal recoil will make that circle move around, but recoil does not make the circle bigger. Now for the example we used, the deviation from the site is pretty damn small, especially considering the role of the annihilator. Assuming an engagement distance of 15 meters, this only results in a deviation of 21.6 centimeters left and 7 centimeters up from the center of your crosshairs. Let's take a look at another example to where it might actually affect how you play. Alright, the situation is you are a medic and you are equipped with the Farquhar Hill Optical. Your squad mates just got killed and you need to kill the enemy before you can revive your teammates. You ADS but are forced to shoot while moving to stay alive. Since you are both moving while aiming down sights, that means your base spread is now .788, and on firing your third shot to kill, you now have a total spread of .974. The game goes ahead and generates your random numbers and really doesn't like you today, so it's going to max out that first random value at 1. Let's say the second random one is 2 pi, just to make things simple. So where is your shot going to land? Well, your vertical spread is 0 since the second random number is 2 pi because the sine of 2 pi is 0. But your horizontal spread is a full 0.974 degrees to the right. Now, I don't have the exact measurements for the player models in Battlefield 1, but let's assume a player to be 0.5 meters from shoulder to shoulder. So with our deviation values, that means if you are more than 29 meters away, you will miss a body shot even if you are aiming center mass. What if you were going for a headshot? Assuming the width of the head to be 13 centimeters, you will miss if you are more than 8 meters away, even if your crosshairs are dead center. Again, this is the worst case scenario. So why is this an important topic to bring up and important enough for dice to change in Battlefield 5? Well, a weapon spread coupled with visual recoil can lead to frustrating circumstances where a player can miss well-aimed shots at no fault of their own. A side note, visual recoil is a way for a game to simulate the feel of recoil by having your reticule bounce around and not line up exactly with where your weapon is actually aiming. Some players feel that these elements of randomness detract from the overall skill required in the game. Whether or not spread makes a game more casual is up for debate, but it has been used in almost every FPS as a way to balance weapons and movements. So. Now that we are armed with the knowledge of what spread and random bullet deviation is, how is Battlefield 5 changing? First off, Battlefield 5 will be eliminating spread with the exception of when you're moving, and even then, the spread is going to be minuscule compared to Battlefield 1. Visual recoil is also not being implemented, so all of this together means that where your sights are pointed will be exactly where your bullets go. This does not mean that weapons in Battlefield 5 are laser beams as horizontal recoil will play a significant role in balancing the weapons. But now you have direct feedback instantly on where your shots are landing. You will then be able to take this information, coupled with the new unique recoil patterns to each weapon, and learn how to best use that firearm in a specific role. Some weapons are better to be tap fired, others bursted. But you will know exactly what is going on with your weapons so that you can learn. Alright, for those of you still hanging in there or just skipped ahead to get the summary, here we go. Time for the too long didn't watch section. Spread causes bullets to go somewhere other than where the crosshair is pointing currently in Battlefield 1. Random bullet deviation is not a game mechanic, but rather a result of spread. Spread dictates how wide of a circle your shots will land in. Placement within that circle is random, but has a slight tendency to the outer edge. Battlefield 5 will not have spread in most cases. Battlefield 5 will also not have visual recoil. Where your sights are pointed is where your bullets go, and yes, bullet drop is still a thing. I am curious to know what you guys think about the changes coming in Battlefield 5. Do you think the changes are good or are they bad? Personally, and this is my opinion, I feel that the removal of spread and visual recoil in Battlefield 5 is a great first step in allowing players to learn how to manage their weapons to become better and it overall raises the skill ceiling in my opinion. But I want to hear from you guys in the comments down below. If this video helped clear up some confusion, consider leaving a like. 
If not, then a dislike. And for more Battlefield 5 content, consider subscribing. My name is Shedox Films, and I hope to see you on the battlefield.